Good afternoon, and uh, thank you for joining us. Thank some of you for joining us. I'd like to take this uh, opportunity to welcome our distinguished guests, Premier Jason Kenney, distinguished members of the Provincial Cabinet and the Edmonton City Council, and my very, very, very dear friend, Dr. Bob Westbury, who today is celebrating with us his 39th birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dr. Bob. On behalf of the 14,000 TELUS team members who call Alberta their home, I'm here today to share with you some rather exciting news. Supporting Premier Kenny's vision for a smart, for a healthy, diversified Alberta, TELUS will be investing $16 billion between now and 2023. As you know, this investment builds on our legacy of driving innovation and advancing the digital economy in this province. Indeed, we have come a long way together since the first phone call happened in the province 127 years ago. Edmonton is the home to TELUS's technology leadership team, where the collective innovation and passion of 600 team members is growing the intellectual capital in the city and the highly skilled jobs that accompany it. In fact, one of our formidable thought leaders works, resides, and makes a meaningful difference in this city day in and day out. Zaino Mauji, our president of Home and Small Business Solutions, is going to say a few words at the conclusion of today's event. What a difference you make. Indeed, it was in Edmonton that our highly specialized team proudly deployed Canada's first cellular phone service way back in the 1980s. And today, we connect 99.9% .9 of Albertans across the province. It was our Edmonton team that built our groundbreaking TV service in the 1990s, and today, Optic TV is in one million households. And it was our team here in Edmonton that connected the first ever TELUS Pure Fiber home here in 2013, and since then, introduced Pure Fiber to 24 communities across the province from Peace River to Tabor and counting. These communities enjoy the fastest broadband network experience in the country, according to the Netflix Speed Index. Our investments in Alberta extend far beyond our capital city. As you saw in the video, since 2000, we've invested more than 45 billion dollars in the province. This includes our new $400 million state-of-the-art office tower in Calgary, Telesky, which will be opening its doors very early next year. Telus's investment in expanding our broadband network infrastructure will elevate the vibrancy and elevate the competitiveness of Alberta's private sector through economic growth, through talent attraction, and through job creation, meaningful skilled jobs that are going to make a huge difference to this economy and this society. As one of the province's leading employers, our investment, our $16 billion investment, includes hiring 5,000 Albertans over the next five years.
Furthermore, across our vast supplier and partner ecosystem, TELUS's investment in network infrastructure will yield an additional 20,000 family supporting jobs across the province through 2023. That's exciting. Importantly, our continued investment in Alberta will empower other industries to grow and other industries to flourish, from energy to high tech to public services to small businesses. Our fiber and broadband wireless networks propel the digital transformation of business and social interactions within the province, unleashing the province's legendary entrepreneurial spirit and enabling Albertans to live, work, and innovate locally while competing globally. We're able to provide startups and home-based businesses, no matter where they reside within the province, with access to the same speed, access to the same functionality, and be secure while they're doing it, previously capabilities that were only enjoyed by large enterprises. Similarly, this infrastructure is going to power the province's smart businesses and create intelligent communities. By way of example, we partnered with the city of Drayton Valley to establish a living lab. Together, we are deploying and testing smart technologies that will promote a safer town, that will create stronger community engagement, and will allow for optimized resource planning and deployment. A model that we can take from Drayton Valley and replicate across the province as we evolve towards the vaunted 5G ecosystem that's going to drive innovation for generations to come, to create a better life for Albertans. TELUS's ongoing investment in Alberta is further enabling a greater connection to government services through the digital transformation of healthcare. Disconcertingly, 42% of the provincial budget is directed to healthcare, and the province spends more per capita on healthcare than many of its neighbors. Yet the citizens of Alberta do not consistently experience a correspondingly better level of health outcomes. At TELUS, all of our 60,000 team members are committed to working with Premier Kenny and his administration to ensure that Albertans realize significantly improved health outcomes, realized more efficiently, delivered more effectively. By way of example, we are the leading provider of the medical record systems that Alberta's family doctors and community pharmacists use to deliver the best care possible to their patients within the province. Moreover, through applications, critical applications like My Health Alberta and Babylon by TELUS Health, we are empowering Alberta. We are empowering Albertans with immediate medical knowledge and support at home, in their workplace, and when they're on the move. And we look forward to further expanding these innovative solutions for the benefit of all citizens within the province. Indeed, alongside our many valued partners in the province, we are working towards a future where health care is going to be personal, health care is going to be precise, and importantly, health care is going to be accessible 
to all citizens. We know in our heads and in our hearts that delivering on the promise of connected health care and a truly connected society can only be effective if the networks carrying the information are fast, secure, and expansive. In this regard, TELUS has consistently earned global recognition for being one of the fastest, most reliable networks in the entire world with the best network coverage and unsurpassed client experience. Thanks to our truly world-leading broadband networks, bolstered by the talent and the expertise of local engineers in Canada, educated at our Canadian universities, we are bridging divides and helping to remedy many of the inequities facing Canadians. By way of example, through our TELUS Connecting for Good initiatives, many of which inaugurated right here, Dr. Bob in Edmonton, we are democratizing access to the technologies that underpin the success of so many Canadians who are at risk of being left behind in our increasingly digital society. This includes offering 122,000 low-income families across Alberta access to low-cost, subsidized, high-speed internet access with TELUS Internet for Good. Helping the nearly 5 thousand young Canadians who will age out of foster care over the next five years gain their independence by staying connected with access to a free smartphone and a free data plan with TELUS Mobility for Good so that they can apply for a job online, so they can apply for school online, so that they can stay connected with their friends, many of whom will end up living on the streets. This also includes empowering 12,000 Albertans with severe physical limitations to live more connected, more independent lives with TELUS Tech for Good. And it includes, critically, supporting 6,000 Albertans living on our streets with access to mobile health care through Tell us health for good. Indeed, in this regard, Tell us has partnered with the Alex in Calgary and Boyle Macaulay in Edmonton to bring an innovative primary care outreach model to serve marginalized populations in Alberta. This model, using Tell us's mobile health clinics staffed by doctors and nurses is one of the most promising health care strategies that addresses the challenges our system faces in reaching vulnerable Canadians. If we're going to have a universal health care system, let's make sure that it's truly inclusive. Inclusive of those people that are marginalized and living on our streets. Increasingly, mental illness, substance abuse, and an underserved Indigenous population are just a few of the systematic health and social inequalities that we must address together. Both the private sector working in collaboration, deep and meaningful collaboration with Premier Kenny's administration, shared intellect, passion, and an ideology to get things done and make a difference. Remarkably, those who are most marginalized often have the greatest health problems and the least access to care. You know, our Connecting for Good initiatives are but some of the many ways that the TELUS team is leveraging our technology and social innovation 
combined with our compassion to make a meaningful difference in the lives of our fellow citizens. And that's what the culture at TELUS cares about, putting communities and citizens first. Since 2000, our TELUS team has gifted $700 million and perhaps more importantly, delivered 1.3 million days of volunteering, providing caring and philanthropy to create stronger, to create healthier, to create more sustainable communities for our fellow citizens, many of whom are fellow citizens in need of a helping hand. This includes $200 million and 500,000 volunteer days invested right here in the province of Alberta. Importantly, as a hub for technological and social innovation, Edmonton holds a very, very special place in our hearts. It was right here where Dr. Bob and I launched our first TELUS community board back in 2005. Our community boards have six, since expanded to 18 community boards all around the world, making a huge difference in communities, both local, national, and international. Wow, it's so fantastic to see that vision come to fruition and deliver the difference that we both aspired to at the time. Indeed, since 2005, TELUS and our community boards in Edmonton and Calgary have contributed $75 million to critical community investment programs. Smart societal innovation, improving social outcomes, improving educational outcomes, and improving health outcomes for youth across this great province. Inspiring future change makers through critical partnerships with the Edmonton Eskimos to end bullying. Partnerships with the TELUS World of Science to enthuse kids learning STEAM. And partnerships with We Day Edmonton to help people, help youth embrace social change and embrace volunteerism, a concept that was practically invented in this city. You know, TELUS has stood with Alberta and Alberta citizens for more than a century. And we've stood with Alberta during natural disasters in Calgary, Fort Mac, Slave Lake, and High River. I think we demonstrated to our fellow citizens, with our hearts, with our hands, and with our resources, that when things seem to be at their very worst, you can count on the TELUS team to be at our very best. Together, we've experienced the cyclical challenges of a resource-based economy and have worked collaboratively to generate new opportunities and to drive economic and social diversification through innovation. We can make it happen. We are proud, we are privileged, and we are grateful to continue this legacy of support for the citizens of Alberta by connecting them to the people and the information that matters most. Today, and well into the future, because you can always count on us being there through thick and thin. This afternoon's important announcement is just the first of what are going to be many announcements that TELUS is going to be making in Alberta over the months to come. It underscores our team's ongoing commitment to this province, to the citizens, 
to the communities, to the businesses, to the healthcare system, and to the public sector. Certainly a commitment that we share with our government partners. I believe, personally, emotively, and intellectually, that Premier Kennedy, Kenny understands and embraces the importance of innovation and the importance of investment in propelling a diversified economy and advancing a healthy and prosperous Alberta. A healthy, prosperous Alberta that Premier Kenny envisages and we're going to make real together. Indeed, his focus on leveraging innovation for the benefit of all Albertans, I believe, mirrors our own. And we have great confidence in his administration's ability to steward this investment and to drive the investment outcomes that are going to deliver for us such positive economic, such positive societal, societal benefits for this province, for the cities, for the towns, for the rural enclaves to deliver a better tomorrow because the future should be friendly. It's my honor and privilege to invite the Premier to say a few words. Thank you very much. Wow. What a game changer for Alberta. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, TELUS. $16 billion and 5,000 new jobs. This is an historic day for modern Alberta's economy. Thank you so much. When I was uh, first approached, we had some conversations with Darren and TELUS this summer, and they were talking about an expression of confidence of this magnitude. I thought it was, frankly, too good to be true. Well, it is true. We just heard it from one of Canada's most accomplished and respected business leaders, this huge expression of confidence in the future of Alberta. This province that since its beginning has always been, I believe, the beating heart of free enterprise with a deep work ethic, with a spirit of innovation. And it's no, it's no coincidence that TELUS has its roots deeply in the soil and the history and the people of Alberta from AGT and EdTel and the privatization that came from them uh, and the growth of TELUS as a globally important uh, telecom and increasingly information technology company. We're proud of the success of TELUS and so Darren, to you and your team, on behalf of the government and the people of Alberta, thank you, thank you, thank you for this huge investment in our economic future. You know, uh, we're in Manning Hall, named after one of our great and longest, our longest serving premier, who helped to build much of the modern economy and infrastructure of this province. Uh, and Premier Manning once said that Albertans are the kind of people who s dream about changing the world while sitting on their tractor seat. And that's the kind of Alberta spirit, that audacity about thinking big. And now with a huge investment that TELUS is making in ag tech, for example, There'll be a lot of farmers out there in their GPS-guided combines getting better yields, better profits, feeding more people from around the world and growing our economy because of TELUS Tech. Because of the investment in, in health uh, technology, such as Babylon, I believe we can partner with TELUS to deliver better health outcomes at lower cost to meet the urgent challenge presented by demographic change. With a focus on democratizing tech and uh, allowing people who are sometimes at the margin of our society, including the homeless and the underserved, access uh, to uh, tele telecommunications technology and eventually to the 5G network, this too is a hugely progressive commitment by this cutting edge company. And in so many other areas, uh, there are so many synergies in the vision that Darren just articulated between what this company will do to generate returns for its shareholders while making life better for ordinary people in this province. So many synergies between that vision and the vision of the government of Alberta to renew this province 
as really the engine of Canada's economy. Darren, you know that in recent years, we've been going through some challenging times in this province. Having led Canada in economic growth and job creation, in incomes and social programs for so many years, in the last few years, we've been going through uh, some t times of adversity. And that, that is why all Albertans know that we need to continue towards the path of diversification. This announcement, this $16 billion investment, these thousands of new increasingly high-tech jobs are a critical part of that effort to make Alberta's economy more diverse and more plugged in to the digital economy of the future. You know, it also is, it demonstrates the importance of uh, establishing investor confidence in this province. I just came from spending three days on Wall Street talking to some of the world's largest investors, funds that represent over uh, $9 trillion of assets under management. They still believe in this province. They want to see, though, if our country can still build big things and get things done in the Alberta spirit. Well, we are determined to prove to them here in Alberta that we can still dream big and get big things done. And your commitment to the 5G network in this province, to all of the other infrastructure that you will be building is part of that. This is why the government of Alberta has launched its job creation strategy, at the heart of which is a job creation tax cut to reduce by one third the tax rate on job creators, on employers, on businesses big and small, on the folks who take the risk to put so much on the line in order to create opportunity uh, for others. And that's also why we are reducing through our red tape reduction action plan by at least one third the number of job killing regulatory requirements imposed by Alberta's government. It's also why we're committed to speeding up approvals through our regulatory agencies to the best in class standard in North America. It's also why we've given our municipalities the ability to provide tax breaks to incentivize new investments. And it's why we're doing so much more uh, to make Alberta once again a magnet for investment and for job creation. I'd like to see this uh, historic announcement as uh, a proof that that strategy is working as we attract uh, more risk takers to come back in to the Alberta economy. So to folks in Alberta uh, who have been struggling, to people whose incomes went down in recent years who are still struggling to find work, this announcement today is one sign of hope. As Darren has said, uh, he and his team will be making other important announcements that begin to lay out the details of this huge $16 billion commitment to Alberta. I look forward to hearing about some of those. I have, I have a bit of an insight, and it's really exciting stuff. This is, this is TELUS bringing the, the, the most advanced technology, the result of huge leaps in innovation, to the farm gate, to, to Main Street, to homes and hospitals, uh, to, our, to the streets where some, some of our homeless live, uh, to the least fortunate, to our indigenous communities. This is not just a good business for TELUS, this is good for social progress in Alberta, this announcement that you have made today. Uh, our government looks forward to being close partners with you in rolling out uh, these investments and this commitment to ensure that the, the bet you're putting on Alberta pays off for all of us. And I, I hope that this will be an important sign to other major corporate leaders in Canada about how Alberta is back as a place of opportunity. Thank you again to tell us for having been such an important part of our economic history in Alberta, for having built through AGT and EdTel and TELUS in the last 25 years so much of our communications infrastructure. But more importantly, thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of four and a half million Albertans for this huge commitment to being a, 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 an essential part of our future, of our economic and social, social future to tell us thank you. And as, I, as you said, Darren, together, let's get her done.